Hello, hello, good people. Hope everyone is doing well. Uh, today, two news just dropped, um, and I believe these are big news for the NFT space. Uh, one from Twitter, which we'll go over first, and then the second one from Facebook, aka Meta. Um, uh, they just really stepped their game up a little bit, um, but we'll get to that here in a second. So, first, we're going to talk about Twitter. Twitter just really did something that I feel will bring NFTs uh, really mainstream. Uh, as you can see here, Twitter Blue now launches their NFT profile pictures. Scroll down real quick. Uh, Twitter Blue, the social media platform's $2.99 US dollar per month's premium subscription service, has launched NFT profile pictures on iOS. Uh, the feature allows users to connect to their crypto wallets and display their NFTs as their own perf profile pictures. Other users can then tap on the profile picture to learn more about the project and view its metadata. Uh, NFTs are displayed in a special hexagonal shape indicating authentic authenticity and proof of ownership. The feature is available for subscribers on iOS via its early access labs feature. Uh, currently, Twitter only supports static image NFTs in their JPEG or PNG formats minted on the Ethereum blockchain. Uh, NFT profile pictures support several crypto wallets including Argent, Coinbase Wallet, Ledger Live, MetaMask, Rainbow, and Trust Wallet. Um, lastly, Twitter Blue officially launched in November and is available in the U.S., Canada, Australia, and New Zealand. Um, New Zealand features include ads-free articles, bookmark, folder, and an undo tweet option. Okay, so... Again, to me, this is really big, and I'll tell you one main reason why. Um, and it is the it is really going to shut down the right click save as community, uh, where people are saying like, "Hey, you have an NFT, whoop de whoop, cool." But all I have to do is just click on it, do a save as, save picture as, uh, copy whatever you want to call it. Um, that's all fine and dandy, but you know you've seen a lot of people change their profile pictures on Twitter, and you really don't know which one is real, which ones are verified, which ones are active, and whatnot. What Twitter just did by changing these uh, their profile pictures into a hexagonal shape for the ones that have actually been minted, I went for the ones that have actually been verified from a actual wallet, um, and it is known to be the true and only NFT. Um, this really just shuts down the right click save as community because now those profile pictures will no longer just show up in a you know circle they'll show up in a whole different shape uh proving to everyone hey i actually do own this nft and the other person that has it does not because they don't have this hexagonal shape so i believe that was like a really smart move on twitter's part for that um, and one thing that I also like about this is that, you know, you can go in there and they say you can tap onto the profile picture and learn more about the project and view its metadata. That actually brings light into some of these big projects, um, but even more so these smaller projects because, you know, a lot of these smaller projects haven't been getting a lot of light, but they have some really cool, you know, digital artwork out there that, you know, if you click on it, you can learn more about how long it's been around, who created it, um, what's the project all about and all that good stuff. Instead of trying to weed through all of the information uh, that's out there on the internet. You can go straight to the source, straight to, you know, what they call the horse's mouth or whatever, and learn more all about it. And so, yeah, today, January 20th, this just launched. This just went live here today. And also today, Facebook just came out with a whole new news about their NFTs. So, Facebook... Uh, AKA Meta and I guess also Instagram. Um, what they're actually going to do is something similar to what Twitter is doing, but they're going to take it one step further as well. Uh, let me read you the article. Meta, the parent company of Facebook and Instagram, is reportedly preparing to allow the posting of non fungible tokens, NFTs, on its social networks and the creation and trading of digital assets via a new marketplace. The news comes from a Financial Times article citing anonymous sources with inside knowledge of the company's preliminary plans. According to several people familiar with the matter, Facebook intends to begin allowing users to post NFTs as a profile images, similar to Twitter, and also to upload or mint their own NFTs via a prototype system that will generate the required tokens needed to turn a simple image file into this new form of digital asset. Wow. Two of 
Those same sources also claim Meta is planning its own marketplace for buying, selling, and trading NFTs. If true, this would place the company in direct competition with existing NFT trading outlets like OpenSea, which, as FT noted, uh, just completed a $300 million, investment, million dollar investment round at a $13 billion valuation. Uh, this news follows earlier public comments from Instagram lead uh, Adam Masuri in which he hinted that the company was exploring the idea of integrating NFTs into the platform as well. FTs sources said internal testing on the photo focus social networks NFT plans has be already begun as well. Assuming FT sources provided accurate information and Meta's plan to come from Meta's plans come to fruition, a deep dive into NFTs is a logical next step for a company that intends to build its own digital universe. The type of unique the type of unique digital ownership that non-fungible tokens can provide uh, could be integral to supporting the creation of the many digital assets Meta is likely to sell or support the creation of within its planned metaverse. NFTs would NFTs could wind up being the digital wall art on many a virtual uh, abode with Mark Zuckerberg's planned universe. Uh, the anonymous sources did not mention any time frame for when Facebook or Instagram might launch their respective NFT services. So just to quickly break this down, uh, again, one thing that and uh, one thing that Facebook or Meta is doing with Facebook and Instagram is the same thing that Twitter is doing, allowing people to post their NFTs uh, as their profile picture, which I'm assuming they allow you to um, attach your you know digital wallet, whether it's you know MetaMask, um, shoot Ledger, Live, Coinbase wallet, whatever it is. Uh, directly onto their app, Facebook app, or you know Instagram app, and then from there you can just go ahead um, and pull your NFT from your wallet and then add it to your uh, Facebook account, Instagram account, and post it as your profile picture. Uh, but they're actually taking it one step further. They're going to allow you to mint your own NFT. So I don't really see this working out too well with Facebook, but with Instagram that's really a game changer because people post Instagram pictures all day long. I mean, I feel like there are more image posts than there are, you know, Instagram lives, uh, stories, reels, all that good stuff. People, you know, are more comfortable just posting a, uh, a image rather than, you know, uh, a video or whatnot, uh, which says it's kind of taking a turn here in later days. Um, but most artists have their own, you know, personal art page. Um, and all they have to do is turn their personal art page into a business page. And then, you know, from there, they can actually just post a image of their artwork and then have it automatically turn into an NFT. Uh, and then, you know, Facebook already has their shop, uh, shop button on there on Instagram, whatever. All you got to do is click on it and it goes directly to, you know, a checkout page or whatever. Um, and somebody can, you know, click on your post, see that it's an NFT, like it and purchase it directly from there. Uh, this would now turn Facebook and or Instagram into a NFT marketplace, which again, from the article saying this puts them in direct competition with OpenSea. Uh, in my opinion, I actually thought that Facebook was going to pur purchase OpenSea or, you know, one of the other leading ones, uh, Rarible or um, uh, I forget the other one, uh, Foundation app or whatever. Uh, I thought they were probably going to go ahead and purchase one of these companies, which may still be true. Uh, they may go out there and purchase one of these already existing marketplaces and then just incorporate it into, you know, Meta's plans for what they want to do with Facebook and Instagram. But if they come out with their own, um, that would actually be pretty interesting. It'd be pretty interesting to see how uh, they come up with a way for users to just go ahead and mint directly to the Ethereum blockchain or the Solana blockchain or which, whichever one. Um, and then have that, you know, be right there on their uh, Facebook or Instagram account have a little button on there that says all my NFTs and then every NFT will be attached to an account so as I said uh, this is really a game changer especially for the NFT world because we're already so used to you know Facebook we're already so used to Instagram we're already so used to Twitter and stuff like that uh, so just having this being able to integrate directly into what we already know um, will basically open a lot of doors for a lot of people who, you know, may not even know anything about NFTs currently. Uh, one thing I will say, though, is that inside of the Web2 world, uh, Facebook has made some enemies. Not a lot of people 
um, are in love with Facebook right now, uh, especially with their privacy issues and stuff like that. So I think a lot of people will start getting a little bit weary when it comes to, you know, having all of their digital assets inside of their digital wallet and then saying, hey, Facebook, we want to link you guys two together. You know, uh, what type of privacy or security issues will that raise for Facebook? But it seems like Facebook is now wanting to get into the, you know, Web3 component of uh, the Internet that's coming out. And it'll be really interesting to see how that works out for them. All right. So definitely let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Uh, share this video for sure. Subscribe to my channel. Uh, link with me on all my social media channels as well at Junior underscore Evenso. And until next time, you guys take care.